Next is markup. When we say markup, this is the difference between the selling price and the cost price. So usually, tinatawag itong tubo o yung kita, pwede rin natin yung sabihin. Kasi ito yung dinadagdag mo. Sabi ko kanina, yung selling price, dinadagdagan siya ng konting amount, depende sa policy, para hindi lang yung cost price ang makuha mo o yung tinatawag natin na pwede nating tawagin pala na puhunan. ba? Diba? So, yun yung tinatawag nating markup. And it is computed using this formula. Markup is equal to selling price minus cost price or if given ang markup percentage, it should be computed like this. Markup is equal to markup percentage times cost price. Pero ano nga ba yung markup percentage? Markup percentage is a percentage of the cost price that the company wanted to add to determine the selling price of the product. Siya yung markup rate na tinatawag. Ito yung rate na idinadagdag natin sa cost price natin para ma-determine natin yung selling price ng product natin. And the markup percentage is computed using this formula, 100 times the ratio of the markup and the cost price. Now, let us have some examples. This is the first example. How much is the markup of an item if the selling price is 30,000 pesos and the cost is 25,000 pesos? So, first things first. You need to enumerate all the given from the problem. So, dito, sa problem natin, we have SP or the selling price which is 30,000 pesos and then we have also the cost price which is 25,000 pesos. Now, ang hinahanap sa atin ay yung markup. So, that is our question. So, what is the markup? In order for us to compute for the markup, we have two available formula. The first one is markup is equal to selling price minus cost price. And the second one is used kapag meron tayong markup percentage. Since wala naman tayong markup percentage here, at hindi rin siya tinatanong sa ating problem, then the first formula will be used. Let's see. So, substituting all the values, we're going to have 30,000 minus 25,000. Therefore, our markup is equal to 5,000 pesos. And the lang, di ba? Now, let's move on to the second example. How much must be the selling price of a bed phone? with a cost price of 1,500 pesos if the desired markup percentage is 20%. Ayan. So, medyo naging tricky na. Kasi ang hinahanap sa atin dito ay yung selling price. Yung selling price ng ating bed foam. And this time around, ang provided lang sa atin ay yung cost price at yung markup percentage. So, first things first ulit. Kailangan natin tingnan kung ano yung mga given. So, our given now are, so we have the cost price, which is 1,500, and we have the markup percentage, which is 20%. Ngayon, kung titignan natin sa formula, kailangan natin hanapin si markup. Bakit? Kasi si markup ang magsasabi sa atin kung ano ang cost price dito sa ating first formula. Ngayon, kailangan din natin yung ating selling price. Ayan. So, ngayon, anong gagawin natin? So, gagamitin natin yung dalawang formula. Ang una natin hahanapin, si markup. At ang unang formula na gagamitin ay yung kasama si percentage. Now, substituting all the values, we'll get the markup is equal to 0.20 times 1,500. Multiplying the two factors, we're going to have 300 as our markup. Now that we already know what the markup is or how much the markup is, then we can substitute it to this second formula. Markup is equal to selling price minus cost price. 
substituting all the values we have the markup which is 300 and then we have the selling price now which is missing at the moment and then our cost price which is 1500 using the equality property of equation we're going to transform this or transpose this into the other side of the equation so that will be 1500 plus 300 is equal to the selling price adding the two numbers we're going to have 1800 pesos therefore our selling price is 1800 pesos problem solved